All right, so yeah, let's let's drain this thing. It's just a long process now. Check in with you guys in a bit. Bam. All right. So guys, just want to show you really quick how we have this set up for the drain. There's our wash function drain one. We literally just took the hose up. Our man got to clean that green one up. Not a very happy little pump. Alright guys, so pump is still running, been around 15 minutes, constantly going to check. For now we're not moving around, just make sure that we got a good flow going on. Oh there we go, that's a good spot. It's a nice flow. Just trying to speed it up a little bit, it's annoying having to wait so long. We got the new one unboxed and more or less ready to go. Uh, yes, while we're waiting for this guy here, I can't start cutting. would have left some rasp paper so I could clean that up better so I don't want to have it around here it's a little bit of ice filled up there I don't trust a uh, shark bite there do a loop on trying to cut a little longer just to be safe but all right apparently I have a choice this is how that's gonna go Very slowly. Almost there now. That's a nice pipe actually. I should have probably left a little bit more, but I think that's perfect right here. I'm already a little worried about uh, the weight when this thing comes off. But it's okay. Yeah, right there. See, I'm talking about. There we go. But that's all right. Being supported by that, even if not. Find something to support that over there. Why not? I found this ancient smoke pack behind the hot water tank. Gonna literally use that probably. Got a little weight. It's 
pretty cool little devices. These are called PRVs. So let's just say something crazy happens in your boiler one day and it decides it doesn't want to shut off and it just keeps boiling, boiling, boiling. Instead of it blowing up, this thing here is just going to pop because the steam pressure is just going to get too much, right? And it's going to come down through that tube. Yeah, these are awesome. You find them on your furnaces, uh, hot water tanks. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Boilers, stuff like that. Sucks constantly having to adjust this little guy. Dialect Union. They got the three quarter inch on one end, shark pipe fitting, and the other end you have your Dialect Union that connects to the top of your hot water tank. These things here run you anywhere from, I these longer ones here are like 70 bucks. But they're totally worth it if not a little bit more. I have 75 for these, uh, these ones here are 24 inch, these are big ones. A lot of times they come with shutoffs too. Uh, yeah. They seem a little long, but I think we're gonna have to do it to alleviate the pressure on that. Let's do a loop. We'll see. The new tank's a little taller too, so. I just saw that, I don't really have a choice. Gonna have to get it figured out. Uh, before we install this, I'm gonna remove the PEX insert. So that's a really nice pig tiller right there. So, yeah, that'll do. I'm sure a real plumber would definitely disagree with that, but taking what we're giving in the maintenance industry sometimes we don't have a choice but to make do. Alright, some other people too. That's the thing. You see, I didn't put Teflon tape on there because I find that with dishwashers and hot water tanks, they seem to degrade after time. You know, we get a call back six months, eight months later saying there's a leak. So. I try to avoid it if you can get the pressure fit with these nice new seals and that's exactly what you're aiming for. Don't play games. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to get this cold water stuff hooked up so I can start filling this thing as fast as possible. Because I can't leave this so I can't turn the power onto this until it's full. If you do turn the power on, 
before you fill the tank, and I've done this once before, what happens is those coils get red hot, right? And when the water comes up and touches them, the, to the coils crack. So it's no longer a hot water heater. You can replace them, but man, it's just pain in there. So it sucks when you have to fill the tank like, oh, yeah, sorry, but you don't get hot water for the weekend because I made a bad mistake. So just gonna grab it. I like using a brand new blade for this, I don't know if this can work out. Might have to use a pipe cutter, but we'll give it a shot, why not? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Three quarter inch packs. Alright, so now we got that bad boy on. Connect your second, style it. Union. We also have a couple taps open upstairs. Well, with all the pressure, there's a pressure buildup. That's another reason I have PRV open. We want to have all these things so that way we're not blowing any of the plumbing upstairs. Goodbye. Excellent. You can turn again. I'm not going to blow my face off any of the with anything.
tabs cracked upstairs to relieve the pressure. I have to close this now and shut it off. Start pulling the rest. That guy's open. Do it right here. That's it out. It still isn't turned yet on. Oh, yeah, I shut that off on the. Finishing up filling it. All right, yeah, we're just checking for leaks. Just actually, I think that job there took us just a little over an hour to do. It's uh, like 4.15 right now. It's brutal. It gets dark here early. You go to work in the dark and come home in the dark. <laughs> Even on a Saturday, you just can't win. So yeah, that's a hot water tank. And we got to show you a couple of the ways to get around those issues you might run into. So hope it helped. Yeah, peace out, everyone. Stay functional.